Hi mga garden, this is Hardinerang Nanay once again. Welcome to our home garden. Welcome to our channel. So, if it is your first time to be here in this channel, like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell for more gardening tips and vlogs from Hardinerang Nanay. So, for today, we're going to talk about Mayana. Yes, Mayana. And we're going to transplant also. And then, of course, Hardinerang Nanay will give you some basic care tips of Mayanas. If you are a beginner in gardening, Mayana or Corleus is a good plant to start with. They come in vibrant, stunning colors and patterns and are very easy to grow. Mayana is a native of Indonesia and a tropical plant. Corleus or Mayana can be grown all year round here in the Philippines. Some varieties can tolerate the hot sun while others prefer part shade. Mayanas should have some direct sunlight in the morning. That is morning direct sunlight for at this part of the day. Yes, in the morning, okay? And as much indirect light as possible in the afternoon, okay? So the best thing to do is you place your Mayana plants in the area wherein they receive uh, direct sunlight in the morning and then uh, indirect light in the afternoon already. Why should you do that? Because a strong sun may cause the foliage look bleach or green or uh, something like that. It, it does not look good. I did say one thing. I'm sorry I did not... Uh, you know, picture that one to show you. So, uh, ang pangit ng itsura ng over, you know, over, let's say, sunburned, <laughs> like that. So, we have to do something about that if we need to maintain or if you want to maintain the Mayana colors that are vibrant, those yellows, pinks, purples, reds, and maroon colors. It should have some bright light but not uh, a strong sun or sunburn, okay? Better yet, as Hardinerang Nanay always suggests that you place your uh, plants in a filtered light which receives 6 hours to 8 hours of sunlight pa din. So, why not, uh, you know, put in an area wherein it is covered with net, Okay, to at least to filter the sun, especially this summer that is very, very hot. Deadheading is what we call the process wherein we remove the flowers of the Mayanas. We need to remove the flowers of the Mayanas. If you are, you know, nasasayangan kayo, um, if you don't like to remove these uh, flowers, it's okay. You wait until they are wilted so that new branches will, you know, uh, come out. Okay, will sprout. Okay, and then also, even not only the flowers that you will remove, also the tips of the Mayanas will encourage a bushy plant. But never plant your Mayanas in a low light condition because it will encourage rot. Okay, mabubulok yan. Watering depends on the sunlight exposure. During summer or hot months, you water your uh, outdoor Mayanas or the Mayanas in full sun for at least once or twice a day. Okay? And then, on the filtered light, when we say filtered light, it is covered with net or it is inside the greenhouse. So, just like my dip in wine that I put inside the greenhouse, I water it every two to three days. It depends on the humidity of the day or it, if it had been raining or it had been, you know, cloudy, just for example, here in Baguio, we have that conditions that sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's foggy. So, uh, it's limited, okay? The safe, I, I mean limited, what limited? <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I have to water my Mayanas in the greenhouse like every three days. Comes to worst it should be at least once a week so it depends on the humidity okay that is your own garden you have to observe just be careful that 
you don't overwater your plants because always Hardy Narang Nanay says that overwatering is the number one killer of all plants. Okay. For the part shade area, this is the area wherein it receives only morning sun and in the afternoon it receives na the indirect sunlight that is very good also for the plants and for the mayanas. And then you water it uh, like every day or every other day. You just have to observe, okay? So uh, in gardening, you have to know what plants are, uh, you know, water consuming like they are very thirsty of water like these plants like these mayanas and you have to know also what plants uh you know sh don't need too much water okay okay i have this one the deep in wine uh, variety i bought this one for a hundred pesos is it too much is it expensive or is it okay lang i think it's okay lang because this is a uh, rare variety rare variety because this is that common i did not see this ones planted along the road <laughs> you know the common ones are you know before the pandemic it's full of uh, mayanas along the road like those and we did not see any of this dip in wine uh, variety okay so we're going to change the soil okay because we have to check what if the soil that we bought or the plant that we bought is planted in a soil with lots of slugs and snails? And also we have to check some, you know, you know the mealybugs can stay under the soil. So we have to check that one. We have to check also the soil if it is planted with uh, rice hull. Okay, so uh, if possible, we use the... Um, carbonized rice hull it acts as soil conditioner and it is beneficial to your plant so we're going to cut this one there cut it's very easy it's very crispy so it's very beautiful this one i like this one the 100 pesos is very worth it because you see a lot of branches to propagate and then we're going to cut this one again so we're going to have three plants already sure it will survive okay uh, i'll see i'll see a lot of babies coming out <laughs> okay we're going to cut this one and you know what it's a little harder this time now for the soil mix we have here the loom soil the loom soil with the carbonized rice hull carbonized rice hull is advisable for you to use because it is a soil conditioner we have here also the coco peat the coco peat is also very useful since our mayanas love water okay we have the coco peat but then we're going to make our soil well draining and not soggy all right since mayanas love moist soil but not soggy we're going to use uh, this uh, soil mix and then this coco peat is also good for you to use as mulch as i will show you later on how to use it as mulch and then we have here also the cow manure the cow manure if you don't have it we have the uh, vermi castings online you can buy those ones all right so we have here also the dried leaves especially uh, found on the forest floor we can buy those actually they are selling on arcadariums and plant shops okay all right we're going to mix this one if you have pumis you can add okay so that's it for the mayanas they are low maintaining plants but then also they need fertilizers so for me i use the compost tea uh, last week i used or i applied um, bat guano and molasses compost tea we have also the vermi casting compost tea you can use that and then also the um, what's this cow manure compost tea and added with sunflower leaves yes here in baguio we have this ones we have a lot of it uh nearby okay it's just uh, around there the sunflower leaves it's also used to add in the compost tea is very healthy 
Okay, we're going to plant now the cuttings. Okay, we're going to we're going to water this one um, after one day. Okay, As, uh, we have to wait for the cuttings first to heal. Okay, uh, some people are using you know cinnamon powder. Dip it first in cinnamon powder. Okay, it helps in you know uh, healing the wound. And then, this is the mulch that I'm telling you. This is how to make a mulch out of the cocoa pit. Uh, do not put near the, um, what's that? The plant. Make a donut hole, okay? So that uh, it will not be prone to rot, okay? So this one, we're going to water it immediately. So this one, we're going to put this one in the uh, full sun, okay? tomorrow the next day okay here they are after two weeks so this is the cuttings that we uh, planted all right this is in the filtered sun and then we have here the uh, plant in full sun so that's it mga garden thank you for watching h and tv bagyo our home our garden we believe that all plants grow with love like comment and subscribe and share this video god bless us all